What it do, guys? Reggie P here. Hey, would you like to get a chance to win some free money? Well, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video and all my videos, drop a comment down below, which is hashtag the grind is real. Share this video and all my videos on Instagram. Make sure you follow me at AppGrind. And once I reach 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to randomly pick somebody that follow these guidelines and they will get a chance to win the free money. So if you want to get a chance to win some free money today, subscribe now. Now let's get into this video. This is App Grind TV. Get your grind on. Welcome to App Grind TV with your boy Reggie P. And I help entrepreneurs make money on autopilot. In today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm talking about the five best tips to how to save money. I usually talk about making money on this channel, but today I need to talk about saving money because saving money is just important as making money. Now, if you're new to my channel, I help entrepreneurs make money online, make money on YouTube, and make money with apps. And very, very soon, Maybe in a week or two, two people is going to win some free money. So do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos that I drop. And give me a like. It really helps out my channel and it helps out this video to be seen by more people on YouTube. And drop a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or opinions on this topic. Now, guys, please watch this all the way to the very end because all five of these tips will definitely help you to save money. And also, it can help you make some money. <laughs> so, please watch this video all the way to the very end. Now, without further ado, let me go ahead and get into the five best tips to how to save money. Let's get it. All right, number one is set a budget. Now, you need to set a budget to save money. If you don't set a budget, you're just going to be spending money all willy-nilly. You don't want to do that because you got expenses, you got things that can come up in life, and you need to have money saved up. I read an article where it says 70 to 80% of people were here in the United States and maybe around the world only have maybe a thousand or less than a thousand saved up. And that's not good. We need to at least have six months of savings because anything can happen at any time. You can lose your job or whatever. So you need to set a budget. And here's a way you can set a budget. It's a lot of money rules out there and one money rule you can use it's called the 50 30 20 rule and what that is is you spend 50 percent of your income on your needs 30 percent income on your wants and 20 percent on saving and paying off debts or for like emergencies that pop up so if you want to check that out, they have a lot of videos online and you can Google it. It's called the 50, 30, 20 rules. They have a lot of other rules also. They got the 80, 20 rule. It's a different, all different types of rules out there, money rules that you can use to help you set your budget. Now, let me go ahead and go to number two, automate your savings. Now, this is a perfect way to save money if you just have uh, that itch in your hand all the time that you need to uh, get money and spend it. And the way you do that is if you have a job where you have your bank connected up to your, your check every week or every two weeks, you can have them to take 20% of your income and have that go into a checking account with your bank. Well, I'm sorry, in a, with a savings account with your bank. So you can do 20%, 10%, or 5%, whatever you can manage. 
on a weekly or, or every two weeks or even month. So you have that going into the savings. You don't have to worry about taking it out yourself and putting it into a savings or take it out and put it into a savings spot. So you can do that and you won't have anything to worry about. And maybe in five to six months to a year, you can go in there and look in there. You might need it for something. And you'll say, wow, I didn't save a thousand, two thousand dollars and you didn't even know it. So automate your savings. That's number two. All right. Number three is the three day rule. Now, what that is, is let's, for example, let's say you go shopping to a department store and you see that shirt or those pants or any women watching that purse that you like you know, that you want, you want to just say, hold up, let me give it three days. And in three days, if I still feel like I want it, I'll come back and get it. So because we have these impulses, these shopping urges, I know I do. When I go to a department store and I see some a nice shirt I want that I really don't need because I already got about 10 to 20 shirts already, but I see this shirt, it really is really appealing and I like it. I try to say, hey, let me give it three days. Let me think about it. And in three days, if I still want it and I have the money, I'll go ahead and get it. Now, the reason why you want to do three days and reason why they call it the three day rule, usually the mind will analyze this situation. And it takes about three days to analyze it because you go to sleep thinking about it. The next day you'll think about it, go to sleep again, and usually by the third day you're going to either forget about it because you got so much going on in your mind. And nine times out of ten, you don't even want it anymore. You don't buy it because you really, really didn't need it. But if it's something that you really need, you usually get it. So that's the three-day rule, and that's going to help you save money when you have these impulse buying urges so all these impulse buying urges that you have been having when you use a three-day rule that'll be more money you can save and you have more money for you to increase your income all right number four speaking of increase your income that's what number four is increase your income because the more money you make the more money you can save because the more money you make you can use the uh 50 30 rule I'm sorry the 50 30 20 rule and you have more savings because more money you make the more you can save so if you're new to my channel this is the channel you want to come to when I drop a video about making money because that's all I talk about making money so you, if you have not made any money online I can show you all right, now to the last one, number five. This one is very, very important. This one can start or end your saving money habit. <laughs> okay, change your mindset. Now, if you're already saving your money and everything, that means that your mindset is already set on uh, a good it's already set on saving money that means that when you were small you was already presented ways to save money you probably saw it with your parents the way they save money so now you're going to implement what they're doing in your life but majority of us including me when I was younger I come from a family um, my mother and father was living paycheck to paycheck and they used to say these things. They would say, money don't grow on trees. We can't afford this. You know, things of that nature. That stuck in my, my head. So as I get older, I used to say, well, I can't afford this. Or I just bought stuff on impulse because that's what they did. They bought stuff on impulse and they didn't save, they really didn't save money or anything. 
So you need to change your mindset. And also, here's another one that's very, very uh, important that people use on a daily basis. That's in their mind. It's a mindset. And it's very, it's far as, it's, it's through religion. Money is the root of all evil, which is not correct. Money is not the root of all evil. But a lot of people have that mindset, and that's why they're not getting any money. Because once they get the money, they got, got to get rid of it because they think in their mind, in their subconscious mind, that money is evil. So if you change your mindset and say money is good, money is a good tool to use to increase income, to help people, to increase my life, so I can be a better person, so I can be a more successful person. If you look at money as a tool, change your mindset, look at money as a tool, and then you'll be able to start saving and increase your income. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you learned something. If you didn't know anything about these tips, hope you learn it and start using these tips on a daily basis to save your money. Now. Before I go, please do me a favor and hit that like button for me and help me to get at least 50 likes and drop a comment down below if you have any questions about any of these tips. And don't forget to type hashtag the ground is real so you can get a chance to win this free money once I hit 4,000 subscribers. Like I said earlier, I'm 60 subscribers away. So it's coming soon, guys. And what I might do is go ahead and do a live uh, video. I'm gonna be on live to present the winner to two people. And also I might do a question and answer on that live video. So I want you guys to tune in. It's gonna come soon. When, it hit, when I hit 4,000, I'll make that video. Y'all come on there, ask me any question you want, and I'll go ahead and announce two winners of the free money giveaway. One more thing before I go, please share this all around the internet because I really want to help everybody I can to make money online and become their own boss and become financially free. And last but not least, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos that I drop because I make videos like this every other day. Okay, Grind family, thank you for tuning in. And here's one more thing before I go. Go check out my other channel, it's called Random Ridge TV. I'm giving away money over there too. Once I hit 2,000 subscribers, click on the link that's gonna pop up in the top of this video. And go check out my new podcast show, it's called Hustle, Grind, and Grow. I talk about tips, strategies, and habits on how to start a business and how to grow a business and also how to become a better person in life. Click on the link in the description below. Okay, guys, I'm finally finished. I know that was a, a mouthful, but I'm finished. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, get your grind on because the grind is real. Go check out some of these other videos until my next one come out. Peace and be prosperous. Get your grind on, yeah. Get your grind on.